Verity. How are you? Hi, Verity. <laughs> Haven't seen you in a while. I know. Hi, I'm Hi. Verity. Nice to meet you. We know yeah. each other quite well. Yeah, we saw each other over the summer, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe like last weekend. Yeah. Last Maybe weekend. the weekend before that. Yeah, all the time. Maybe, like, all the time. Yeah, all the time. How yeah. was Paris? It was, was lovely. It was really sweet. I mean, James has never mentioned you before. No, I haven't. I mean, I don't know what's going on. Are you guys friends? Or was that a date? Yeah. So why would you go with a girl on a oh. date on Monday and then call them? That same day later on to hang out. Exactly. But like we've you always hang on, I'm confused. She's trying to say that <clears> I <throat> took you on a date on Monday. Yes. I took you to Paris and then I texted her the next day to get her to come over. No, he called me that evening. He literally oh, called me. Oh, I did. Me. Yeah, no, you're you right. You did. Okay. But you've done more than just hang out, right? Yeah, we've, we've been, been sleeping with each other since the summer. I'm sure you can understand. I feel a bit of an idiot. So you guys are like, dating now? Uh, very much the opposite. I think she really liked you. What's what, what's going on? Why why did you ask him out? Why? You want to talk about that? But I don't. It's not important, and it's, it's not, not your business. No, it's not your business as well. Can I just ask you the first question? What is your what is your game? My game? Yeah. I don't have a game. Okay, and so when I saw you last time, you were honest with me. Yes, I was honest with you. Honest. Yes. It's sincere. I was sincere. I told you I'm not dating anyone. I won't do it. I told you that. I, I, I will but not... you slept with someone just before. Yes. You, know? you think that you can sleep with me and sleep also with someone else? I don't know. I, I, when you were in Paris, it was like you had your life in Paris, I had my life in London. You can't tell of me course. that in Paris you of weren't with other but people. But when I see you and you're like, oh, you're going to come back to London, so we're going to see each other often. Of course, yes. Pussy, we're going to do things, yes, you know. Yes, of course. Do you really think that I want to fuck with someone, like with probably germs or something, I don't want to catch something from you? You disgust me, seriously. Some, yeah, some girl slid into his gym. Yeah. That's her, Miles' ex, that's Mabel. <gasps> it's the same girl. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> How have we never thought about that before? She's a very odd bird. Um, where do you think Digby is right now? Digby is giving Maver a PT session. I mean, there's quite a few PTs out there. Why is she? I know. Digby's very loyal. No, Digby is very loyal. She is very disloyal, I think. Maver was pretty vocal about how she thought Digby was an ideal man for her, how he looks really good. Uh, and He's how not she on the market. She really fancies him. <gasps> and also, that she didn't <laughs> give a fuck about what you thought. Like tea. So it's all for me. It's all yeah. for you. Yeah. Hi. Surprise! <laughs> I thought these lovely ladies would be able to cheer you up. Are you actually all right? No, I don't have any energy in me. I'm almost trying to force this energy out of me. It's it's annoying because I feel like drained. I feel drained, and also you and I are the same. I feel like we are like normally like the life. The life, yeah. But that's because you're normally like playing up to everyone, the audience, and all yeah. that sort of stuff. And then suddenly, when no one else is that, you're just like. Do you think you're insecure? Mm. Wearing a wig, Jamie. <laughs> Very insecure. <laughs> Um, I have a hair transplant. <laughs> I'm not insecure. Yeah. <laughs> but no, but I. But you should be insecure about that. But why? But I don't know. I just am. Um, I think that always happened. I think when I was younger, I was like, I think I was 16. I went on the um, contraception pill, which gave me alopecia, which is a very, it's very rare that people get that from the contraception pill. Anyway, my hair, a lot of my hair did fall out, and I had like quite a lot of ball patches here. And I think when I was 16. That's when you're like, you know, you hit puberty. You're, you're trying to look like, like, I wanted to. I just felt very unlike, girly. Yeah, and, and completely. Look, hair is a massive, massive part of your identity, right? Mm. Especially if you're female, mm. completely. And I understand it's one of the biggest things that stands you out. So I get why there is an insecurity. I, I fully understand yeah. it. Who's he with? Rosie or Eliza or Verity? I can't make out. It's one of the blondes. I think it's Rosie. If he wants to salvage anything from our friendship. It's really up to him to, to want to, like, come yeah. over here and, and say something. Did you, like, sort of things out with Miles yet? No, not yet. We've avoided each other, I think. Haven't yeah, we? I think you've avoided me. I think that's, that's this is the first time you. I've had eye contact from him in a while. Yes, it has. But, um, yeah, I have been sad in my own way, and I have been aggressive towards you. Oh, this is lovely and okay. I can't quite imagine you being sad. Can you not? No. Yeah, I do have that emotion in me somewhere. So you do have emotions now. It's hard to believe you. I feel like you almost wow. laugh at our, our friendship. Oh, sorry, our, our acquaintance that we've had. 
In context, dude, I was angry, and I'm sorry I was angry, but that's how I express my emotions sometimes. But you I won't take lot. back anything I said because I believe what I said. Okay. Because the, I have no animosity towards you at all. Of course you do. Really? He's never done anything wrong to you. Because this is the point, though. He's always playing the victim, no matter what. No, I'm playing, playing the victim. You always play the victim, no, James. Mom. Stop, stop, stop. No, it, I can't. It's got a bit intense. This is you, girl. This is Miles, the famous one. Miles, yeah, I've heard about you. The love of, uh, the love of Maeve's past. Ah, <laughs> so, I, so uh, I've been mentioned. <laughs> and Sammy, his girlfriend. Or oh, uh, well, future, oh. I don't know. Well, <laughs> so I saw him. We were talking about um, South Africa and everything, and I said to him, "By the way, I actually did tell Habs that you said." Great. That you Fantastic. That so you he knows fancy, that you know. That you jokingly said you fancied her. The thing is, though, Jamie's not actually denying any of this. Okay. The biggest, like, concern for him is Sam Thompson, not because he doesn't want to. He must have thought about it if he's saying, like, oh, I'm worried about Sam. Say exes and there was nothing else involved, as in, like, no Sam Thompson, n none of his exes. Would you, if he came to you and tried to pursue it, would you, what would you actually do? But it's not even... Like, hypothetically? It's not even an option because I wouldn't allow myself. Oof, I can't breathe. Yeah. I wouldn't allow <laughs> myself to feel like that because no, we're no, best no. friends. No, because we're best friends, so it's all With a buddy room. I've got to like, stay here. Yeah. Why? Um, because I, uh, I don't know, I wouldn't mind, wouldn't mind hanging with Habs. Oh, I don't rub your head like that. Mm, wait. She's friends with exes of yours. Wait, she went out with Sam. And she went out with Sam. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 like wrong in many dimensions, sadly. Oh, but... oh no! <laughs> 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 Do you remember? You remember in um, South Africa when I I said I had a secret. And I said you were my best friend. Remember that? Yeah. Good. Um, well, I have another secret. <laughs> What's your other secret? Oh, no. <laughs> what is going on? Um... That I, uh, fancy a bit. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I think you know how I feel. I'd like you to. Oh, no. No, you can find a date, Mary. Oh, I'm sure she can. Well, the only person really could bring is maybe Jamie. Oh! I definitely fancy him a little bit. I'm pretty sure he fancies me a little bit, yeah. too. Yeah. He's told you that he fancies you. He wasn't like, oh, Verity, by the way, I've got something to tell you. Like, I fancy you. It wasn't you. a big deal. It's it was like... more like, what's going on here? There's definitely, like, a connection. Chemistry. Flirty. And chemistry, like, very flirty. Yeah. Wow. I was in Cape Town and he kept like banging on about like me being his new best friend like all the time and yeah. then kept being like oh my next like girlfriend or whatever or someone I want to see needs to be my best friend first and I was like are you saying that I'm your best friend yes, or someone you then you or... want to date me? Can we still be friends? Can we still do this? I hope one day we will be. Yeah. Like... I wanted to... I wanted to tell you that, okay, well, basically, James and I, we've kissed. Um, we thought it was a mistake, but it's not. And we're friends, but there is this kind of chemistry, and I just control, can't control this. Oh, Jesus, that's true. James. <laughs> he and Maeve got a bit drunk <laughs> no. and kissed. But I, I want, I don't know, I feel like I'm more nervous telling you than I, I've got to talk to Miles. But Maeve has said she wanted to talk to him first. Oh my God, you were rebuilding a friendship. Like, I am so sorry about doing it, but I would do it again because at the end of the day, there is a little bit of chemistry. Stop. I cannot. I'm, I'm literally just speaking the truth, and I'm not going to beat around the bush. Hey, no. Can I get a gin and tonic, please? Hi. Dude, what are you doing? 
But what, I'm meant to explain myself? Like, yes, you're meant to explain to you. I, I've explained myself to so many people. Like, well, I don't give a fuck. But what can I do now? Like, it's happened. I'm... I'm you can stop. That, for once, that would be like, the more gentlemanly thing to yeah, do. Yeah, but I'd, I'd be stopping four miles. I wouldn't be stopping for me or for, for the whole situation. And like, see, look, what's real? That's what, where I think you're wrong. You come across like the biggest twat I've ever met. Auf Wiedersehen. I had enough now. Ciao. This is everyone's reaction from us kissing. Mm. What's going to happen when they find out we've slept together? What about you? What's Are you and Jamie, like, dating or anything like that? He's asked me on a date. Oh, he's asked? Probably not the best time to discuss it. Oh, sorry, no, I just... It's I, like, I, a sensitive topic, so I've just, like, had everybody speaking about it. Yeah, and also, course, it's been made this massive deal and just doesn't need to be, and we're trying to... You don't think it's a big deal? No. You don't think it would be a big deal if she would go and fuck Harry after you broke up? Would you not find that upsetting? I think so. I'm not. Sorry, I don't speak that. snake. I don't speak to you. My loyalty is with Jamie's ex-girlfriend. And it just baffles me when men go from caviar to catfish. OK, well, then, shall I leave? Yeah, I, really... I think that's the best. OK, I'll leave. Bye, fuck off. And this is why I should have just fucking stuck with my right decision. I knew this was going to happen. Everyone hates me. Like, everyone's talking about it. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Really? Um, as you know, fuck, I don't totally understand. I think we are great. I do. I think we're fucking epic. I think we're so sweet. And we have such a great connection, and it's really annoying that other people get in the way. I would like to spend my summer with you. I really would. I miss you all the time. <laughs> all the time. I miss you, Jay. OK, good. I would love to just take you for dinner and hang out with you and hold your hand walking down the street and not worry about someone walking around the corner and seeing us. That's what I would like. <laughs> right. Oh, no. Oh, God. I don't know whether this is because I've had a rosy, but maybe we should just do it. Yeah, but <laughs> you can't say that unless you actually mean it. And if you mean it, that's the best oh, thing in the entire world. You are actually asking me if I mean it. You can't be serious. So, sweet. What I quite like is the fact that um, we can actually, like, do this now. We can go on dates, we can hang out, we don't have to really worry about other people as much. Yeah, it's so Which is much nice. rather than trying to be all secretive about it, which is just great. Yeah, it's actually the best. I know, man. Don't worry. You're falling in love with me. It's OK. But what's been going on with everyone else? What's happening with Jamie and Habs now? They're great. They're dating, just seeing how it goes. OK. Like, I think they're great together. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, do you have doubts? Well, we know we're at the polo. And, yeah, obviously, there, he was kind of... Well, in the evening, like, he was hanging out with Habs and yeah. kind of kissing, and all of their friends were like, this is so sweet, I can't believe this is finally happening. I'm yeah. so happy about it. Yeah. I have yeah. a difficult situation. Right. Which I kind of mentioned to you, and I said, well, there is maybe somebody, someone. but... Yeah, well, I told you it was kind of complicated. Yeah. 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 No way! Yeah. And it's been Jamie? really... Yeah. We hooked her up. We slept with each other. Yeah. And also, the worst part about it is that I'm pretty sure now that it was at the same time that he, this whole thing was going on with Hal. Yeah, of course it was. But it wasn't just once as well. Oh, my gosh! I know. <gasps> I had no idea about anything else that was going on. Even after the polo, he's been texting me. Oh, no, Jamie. Yeah. The worst part about all of it is that he, I can't remember whether it was the first time, the second time, the third time, whatever, he made a really big deal out of keeping it a secret. And now I know why. We, like, hung out twice. Yeah. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Are we, are we talking about what happened between us? Yeah. But this is a couple months ago. 
I thought that was a mutual thing that you didn't want anyone to know. You said that to me, and I said it to you as well. Well, no, because you told me kind yeah. of people would be upset by it. I didn't have any idea that you meant Habs in that situation. I didn't mean Habs in that situation. So you... I so just meant it with my knows. ex. Oh, OK, fine. No, Habs doesn't know, but I thought we were going to keep it between us. That was the point. No, because, Jamie, it, it wasn't... It, it can only be a deal if we both had all the information. But I was single, and I wasn't seeing anyone. Apparently, at that time, you were pursuing Habs. And if she's You're... your best friend, surely you have some more respect for her. I probably feel the most humiliated I've ever felt in my life. OK, so, um, why do you feel embarrassed? You slept with Rosie in the morning and slept with me that evening. Did I? Yeah. I don't think that's true. Yes, it is. I've got every single message on my phone. The, the, first, I... the first time I slept with her, you rejected me that day. Although, but, I mean, to be honest, you've been messaging her before that, saying, can we meet up, but only if we can kiss. With Rosie May, I was a single guy. I didn't know where your head was at. I was drunk those nights. You were single, but you were seeing me every day, and we spent every day together, and we spoke the whole time, and you were also sleeping with me. OK. Look, I, I don't want to... It just sucks cos you were my friend. Like, I don't understand why you do that. Like, embarrass somebody like that who is your friend. Well... I, I don't care if you don't like me or not. I really don't, but I thought you were a great person. I would have defended you always i i thought you were the best person ever and you're just not you're bad you're a mean person it's hard because i see how great you guys are as a couple and individually i love you both and so i don't really know what to advise you on what to do but i personally don't think you should like firmly close the door on everything without hearing him out at least so i did ask him to come if you did yeah, I did. I feel a bit sick. Why? Um, well, I mean, to be honest, I'm going to have to see him at some point. Yeah. So. And how do you feel? Um, I feel confused. OK. And sad. Yeah. And I do, I do think you're sorry. But then you do so many things that I'm like, well, if someone actually cared, they would really wouldn't do those things. But I, I, I really do care. And, you know, I've... I mean, God, I've explained to you in 400 messages what... Yeah. I, I think. So I can keep going over and over and over No, I, I don't... I really don't... I don't want to... Like, I don't want <sighs> you to explain it again. Just be a bit accountable. I, I'm guess. totally accountable. I'm, I'm totally accountable that you... That you felt it was, it was like, what, if you're sleeping... You're grasping on one thing that we didn't... We weren't boyfriend and girlfriend. Aside from that, you know it was a dickish thing to do. But you... We're going back and forth all the time. And it was tough. And, you know, and I didn't know where you were standing. I didn't know what was going on. And with you, I couldn't read you. And so it was scary. It was scary. How do you feel about that situation? What, you and James? Yeah. Um, I hate every single day of it. You hate him? No, no, I hate it. I hate you guys. I hate you guys together. It eats me alive all the time. I don't know what to do. I, like, I... You want me to be happy? Yeah, I want you to be happy, but I want you to be sure. So you want me to be happy with someone? So if I tell you that I'm sure with James and I'm really happy, would you be OK with this? You would, would you be happy for me? In complete honesty, no, I wouldn't be happy. Yeah, because it's James. But if it was someone else, it would be fine. You keep doing I keep doing what? What, have I, what am I keep doing? You came here. You wanted to see me. Oh, come on, stop it. That wasn't just for you, Miles. I was happy to see you, but come on, it's fine. It's not only you. Seriously, when you're not in my life, when I don't see you and I'm just with James, I'm fine. If you're so happy when you're just with James and you don't see me, because why you, have you not made that decision? Because you, you heard me all the time. It's my nerves, it's you, it's the past, it's the memories, it's everything. So what, you still think about me? Is that what, this is what it is? Yes. But you stay, you tell me that you don't, that you're with him, that's it. He makes you laugh, he gives you the romance, yeah. he gives everything you want, he's generous, he's a beautiful, perfect guy for you. Yeah. So if he is that person, why have you guys not made it as official? Because I need time. Why? What makes, what do you need more time with? Because of you. Why? Because of me. 
because I still love you. Spending 24 hours with him was like... Yeah, and you're forgetting, like, you did this to yourself, like, you went there. I don't know why. I didn't like, go there because of him. I wanted to just change my go, mind a little bit. Yeah, well, I don't, OK, maybe it's not changed your mind, but you went there knowing that he was there. Yeah, but also you need to understand that before going there, you kissed that girl. I know I did, but it's OK, yeah, I was drunk. I made the bad decision. I decided to because Yeah, was... and I was drunk and I could kiss him and I, I didn't know, do it. it. It's, a diff it's a different story No, it's not Come a different on. story. It's not. It's, it's like really, it's really easy for me to kiss Miles. But your reason why, I still can't understand. Because I kissed someone and it was a revenge thing? What, what's the reason why you really wanted to go? 24 hours away with Rosie, you could have gone anywhere. That wasn't a revenge, no. You full, you full well know that you didn't want space for me. I didn't want space from you. Like, we well, hang out all the time. I wanted a bit time. of space from you, yes. A little bit. OK, well, 24 hours and you realised yeah, you didn't, Yeah, 24 hours. So. But, well, and then, yeah, obviously, yeah. I realised that I missed you. I just wanted to see you. And then I received your roses and I cried like a baby because I was just so happy. Did you get the note? Yes. What was the question? I want you to be my girlfriend. And I think the do only... Do you mean that? I really do. In my head, I know that if, if I've committed to someone, I've committed. So it means that we're together? Yeah, it does. <laughs>